hello guys now we are in the java tutorial series and i hope friend if you are watching this tutorial so i hope you are the fresher and uh, right now you don't know about the java okay so java is nothing but programming language and before switching in java it is better if you know at least c programming language so here in this tutorial i am telling you the features of java programming language because whenever you switch on any programming language you must know the features of that particular language first okay so the first feature is java is one of the most popular and widely used programming language so java is very popular okay might be you are knowing why it is popular because the java can be used in command based programming windows based programming web based programming and for developing android app also it is commonly used so once your java concept will be clear then you can easily switch on android programming also okay so java is very popular language because it is used for making web application windows based and for making android app also java concept is used then next point and the next feature is java is simple language why java is simple because i already told you if you know only c also then also you can easily switch on java programming if you know c++ object oriented language then java will be easy for you and by using c c++ it is very difficult and time consuming to solve the complicated tasks okay but by using java you can easily you you can usually do that because we are having many tools many options in the java programming so java is a simple language even though you don't have the uh, programming strong programming background uh, okay or if you are little bit aware about programming then also you can switch on java easily then the next feature is java is a platform independent language it is not exactly true in the other language like c and c++ but it is true for the java it is platform independent language because once you write your program once your program is written it is completed then you compile first and you get the byte code and that byte code make your program platform independent and the byte code is used by virtual machine so what is byte code what is virtual machine that i will explain in the next tutorial you should know here java is platform independent because of the byte code in the java you can run your program in any other system or any platform you don't need to compile it again okay because of byte code your program without compilation you can say without compilation by run time your program will be executed and your program will run on any operating system and any platform any hardware so it is not depend on the platform or particular os so it will be platform independent who make your program platform independent jvm and jvm and byte code next feature is java is object oriented language just like c++ so by using java you can easily pass message uh, from one point to another point in the program so for passing the data or message you can have the object in your program so we commonly use the object in the program whenever we execute the method then the next coming concept is the java is nothing but robust and secure language it is robust because whenever you compile and run your program it is checked properly so that your program will not crash at the run time okay your program will not crash and the java program doesn't support the concept of pointer so any other program cannot interact your java program or you can say cannot interact to the memory uh, locations of your java program so your program is more secure and robust and it will not be crashed because of other program then the next coming feature is java is multi-threaded language 
why it is multi threaded or you can say multitasking it perform more than one task java can handle more than one file and execute that program execute that file simultaneously so because of java you can perform more than one task through your program so java support the multi threaded concept for performing multitasking next our coming feature is java program can create applet so because of applet your program will be well distributed and can run in the web browser okay so because of applet you can make web based program means in web browser your program can run so applet is very powerful feature in java programming and next point is c++ if you are family with the familiar with c c++ then in uh, we use common feature like preprocessor because of that we can add the predefined function but in java there is a no need of preprocessor in place of that we are having some other tool other option that we will see in the coming tutorial next one is java is distributed java is distributed language because once your program is made you can share it on other computer other system easily through the internet so it is not fixed for one place it can be distributed for other computer also so these are all the features of java programming and it is essential to know because when you switch on any programming language first you must be aware about the features so i hope friend you understood the features of java programming and please subscribe my channel if you are new in the channel thank you